Hello everybody, Zergle here. Um, I'm going to be doing a replay of a match I just had online. And I'm going to show you guys how I use the picks. Because I've been seeing a lot of stuff online about how... Let me pause it here. About how the Celts in general just are not good online and that you can't play them. One people were even going as far as to say that it's impossible to play the Celts online. Let me tell you my thought process here why I did this. What I was assuming was he was going to do something like what he did here. Because he knew he was playing against Celts, and he knew that I was going to space myself out. So I took a shot in the dark, and I hoped that he did what he was going to do over here. Instead, he did it over here. But that was okay, because... I don't think he could see my Berserkers over here, because you'll see later he runs his cavalry over here. Um, he runs his cavalry over here, and I don't know if he meant to do it or what, but my Berserkers end up actually getting in and kind of jamming up his cavalry push, which really saved my butt for my main force here. Um, the reason I had my Berserkers here was I was hoping he would do this over here. Because what I was going to do was run my Berserkers in as fast as I could. And then release the dogs. Release the hounds. Um, and I was hoping that the hounds would go jam up whatever he had over in this corner. I was hoping it would be, you know, more up in here. Which, in this case, it would have been, you know, a few of his archer cavalry, maybe a swordsman, maybe some more cavalry. That was my entire thought process was get the flanks to where either... I can get in and uh, hurt something or gum up his cavalry and use these guys to get the real work done. We're going to hit play. We're going to fast forward here. See, he finally realizes where I am and he starts, you know, getting himself out. Um, see, what you're going to see is he's doing this. I don't know why. I don't know why he moved his archer cavalry up here because the dogs. The dogs get in there. I'm going to talk about the dogs for a second. I know a lot of people think that spamming dogs is probably the newbiest thing you can do. Um, when it comes to the Celts, I didn't spam the dogs. I don't think I don't think four is necessarily spamming them. And four is where I would like to keep, you know, my dog count, my unit of dog count. Um, but he did. He got his... Um, what he did is actually kind of a dumb thing. He should have just left his um, ranged cavalry here. Because what he ends up doing is this. He runs back. And the dogs get in here and start eating his Persian brigades. And Sogden warriors. And I don't know if you know much about Sassanids. But their melee infantry is pretty um, wimpy. Sogden warriors don't have very good morale, neither does the Persian Brigade. So these guys end up already taking a pretty big hit to their morale. Let me pause it here. I, from my view, in the beginning, I couldn't see his cavalry that was up in here. Turn the volume down. I couldn't see his cavalry that was up in here, so I started sending my berserkers in because I was going to try to maybe catch these guys and maybe get up in here that's what I wanted to do and I had no idea that he had this cavalry and this these guys over here I thought what I thought was that he had archers a bunch of Persian archers because they're so good back here so what I was gonna try to do is get these berserkers in here maybe gum this dude up um, and eventually kind of rotate them out, get these guys or these guys back around in here to kill archers. But about this time in the game, I was finding out, no, he's just got a poop load of cavalry. He has horses stacked on horses for days. So what I was thinking was, at this point, after seeing all this, this was where I could see his entire army pretty much. I don't know if I could see these guys just yet. Um... But I moved these guys up to get some more dogs loose, just to keep these guys from moving. I didn't want him to move. Pause it again. 
I did purposely only use three sets of dogs. Um, and I left one because I wanted to see where the dogs started attacking. I moved this fourth thing of dogs up, fourth unit here, and I let him loose because I didn't want him moving his melee troops at all. Um, and as he started killing the dogs, I moved him up, let these go, so that these guys kind of got stuck here. Um, because he could have moved these guys, could have moved these guys down here, but I didn't want him, I wanted him to not want to do that, if that makes sense. He would have had to leave, you know, a unit or two behind, and his melee troops, his melee line that he was hiding, his general, and all of his other cavalry behind, would have got broke up. Been broken up. So let's get back into the game. Berserkers do surprisingly well against cavalry, even though they're losing quite badly. It's taking three whole stacks of cavalry, three whole units of cavalry. He has these ranged guys right here. So whole time he's got this whole flank right here gummed up and he can't do much. Okay, that's what I was hoping would happen, you know, after everything else didn't go the way I hoped it would. That's the one thing that did go the way I expected it. So he came up here and he started poking at me with his ranged units which um, Celtic crossbows are surprisingly effective. Um, they're very cheap compared to other crossbow units, I think. Um, I don't remember exactly how. I don't. Maybe in this last update they made crossbow units cheaper. I didn't check on that. I probably should have. But they're very cheap. They're pretty good for what they do. Um, you get more than you pay for out of them. And that's what I will continue to say about them and these guys right here. Scathas Teachers. It's only a 60 man unit, but as you will see, um, they are probably, if the Celts have one OP unit, that's it. So we're going to fast forward a little bit here, show you my thought process. Whole thought process here was, I saw his cavalry coming out, getting ready to come flank me. Over here, these guys over here, and uh, so what I started doing was, the uh, Wolfhound Spearmen are actually, um, they are pretty good as a spear unit on their own. And they have very good armor compared to these guys, the Celtic Spearmen. Um, these guys have way better armor. Their unit is smaller, but they put up a lot better of a fight than these guys do when it comes to, you know, a big uh, cavalry push like what's about to happen. So I kept these guys here because um, I figured if these guys run around he these guys, if his cavalry runs around my wolfhounds, um, these guys can just turn and face them. Whole thought process. And that's what I wanted to happen. So I start sending my wolfhound guys over here at some point. I'm not sure what I'm doing right here. But I start sending them, keeping them over in this general area here. Get the crossbowmen. Crossbowmen are kind of moving over because I was going to try to pick at these dudes. Come, come over here. Uh, all my wolfhounds and wolfhound spearmen were over here, so I moved these guys up to zone out his cavalry on my left flank. Okay? And I'm not going to worry about them right now because I can see them. They're not moving. I have spearmen in the way. Got crossbowmen here to pick at them. Everything's fine. So I start getting my Scathas teachers start rushing up. Um, if he... Pause it. Talk one more time here. If he decided to rush my Scathas teachers, my spearmen would be able to come around from the back or the sides and flank them. So he really didn't want to run in here because this was... And I wasn't intending it for it to be in the beginning. I really did, when I saw this at the beginning, how far out my uh, my melee units were. I thought I'd screwed up. But then I kind of figured something out. I kind of figured out that this gap here, he didn't want to run through it. Because these spearmen could just as easily turn, start poking his horses in the butt. So we'll keep going here. Got my crossbowmen picking at stuff, and that's what you really want to do. You don't want to have too many ranged units as the Celts. You want to stick to um, melee. But you do want to have a few ranged units to pick away at whatever your melee units are fighting. And as you can see, the power right now is shifted in his favor. Um, 
which is fine. I kept these spearmen here, and I moved these spearmen up because I wanted to get rid of these horses. Um, and I really did want him to charge in. I wanted him to charge my spearmen from the rear. I very much did. Um, I turned them. I kind of left them here to see if he'd do it. Um, I think at some point I do have these spearmen run up here and start getting these guys. Here's where I crap my pants a little bit. Let me show you the view here. Here's where I crap my pants. I looked back. I had only been focusing on these guys, kind of like we've been doing right now. And I turned like this and saw all that. I crapped my pants. Just a little. Not enough to have to change. So I kept going. I kept playing like a champion. So I kept these spearmen here. I think I eventually kind of move them facing uh, this way. And I keep my wolfhounds uh, spearmen back here. Keep this... These guys, my ballistic... Or, sorry. My crossbowmen. I keep wanting to say ballistari cause, because Rome... Um, my bullets, uh, uh, my Celtic crossbowmen, just read Zergle, just read. Celtic crossbowmen continue to fire over here. I'm kind of alternating between volleys. I'm alternating between them and them and them. Um, keeping my general back here with, uh, to protect these ballista. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys watch me fail. I'm not gonna edit this out. My Celtic crossbows, my general stays back, keeps them safe. Um, these guys over here I feel are safe. I know that these guys are about to probably run back here and get them, and I think that is exactly what happens. So we'll keep going. We're going to fast forward just a little bit here. The men are broken and, running for their lives. and I was right. These guys get in here. Um, he doesn't continue to pursue my crossbowmen, though. So these spearmen are able to catch here. And this is where he moves in, and I kind of messed up. Let me pause it. I kind of messed up. Um, okay, I'm not going to say I... I'm not even going to say I kind of messed up. I really messed up here. Because I left the backs of my spearmen exposed while there were a ton of cavalry back here. However, it ends up working out in my favor, as you'll see. But look at this. My wolfhound spearmen are keeping these guys back here. I'm not going to say that's going to work for you all the time. But in the beginning... When he sees these guys start chasing him, he is going to run off, right? And then he's going to see that you got all these spearmen here. And he doesn't want to run into that, so he's going to do his best to kill what he can. He's going to kill what he can. See that? I didn't even notice that in game. I didn't even notice that these guys were getting shit done, and they are. Using my wolf spearmen to zone out his archers as long as I can. And that's the key, is you have to... You can't deal with, the Celts can't deal with anything directly, so you have to do it kind of indirectly, which means cannon fodder. Um, dog, hound units, perfect for it. They have high armor, they're over there pushing these dudes back. These guys have been out of the fight for a while, because he's been dealing with them. Okay, we're going to pause here, give you a little overview of what went on over here. So... I left these guys for dead. I said, screw it, we will deal with these two cavalry units later. These spearmen have these two guys tied down. I ran my general in to start attacking his general. I tried my best to surround his general. I wanted to kill his general really, really bad. I, so much so that I threw my general into harm's way to do it. So I got my Scathas teachers, got them in there on, all, on three sides. I couldn't get four sides because he had some cavalry run in here. And, uh, but I think this is where I kill his general, somewhere pretty close to here. Um, he's getting my crossbowmen. I see this happening. I'm really bummed out about it. But once again, I really don't care. As long as his cavalry are busy not killing my melee units, it's fine. These, uh, the crossbowmen have already served their purpose. Um, they poked his melee units down enough to give my melee units a very distinct advantage to get in there, kill them quickly, and then turn and face the cavalry. I've still retained um, most of my spearmen, um, ex with the exception of that guy that just died right here. Um, I was able to retain most of my melee units, which was thanks to my my hounds, the hound spearmen, and my crossbowmen. I was able to keep everybody in pretty good numbers. The Scathas teachers took some pretty big hits, but that's okay. 
because they go berserk, they're crazy, they do crazy things. Okay. Here's where I thought my general was going to die. So I started running all my spearmen in. I was like, screw it, screw it. Get the spearmen in there. Get them in there. Um, and all the while, you can't see it on here. I was, um, I guess I should say casting. It's not a spell. I don't know what you'd call it. I kept using the um, defender um, perk that comes with uh, the your general when you get to pick. The one that gives a boost in um, attack and defense. I believe it was mainly um, defensive bonuses, but I kept using it the whole time. Um, as many times as I could, over and over. Every time it was up, I was using it. And that's really kind of the... You're going to have to take that on your general if you play the Celts. Pick the picks in general, because their units are so low in defense, generally. Um, they have some pretty high de defense units, like the uh, Wolfhound Spearmen. But um, not enough to really make up for their lack of armor. So you really do need to take that um, that perk, I guess. Um, but here's where I started realizing, okay, I think I can win this. I think I can win this. Um, and I'm going to let you know right now, this, this was a very close battle. Very close battle. You're going to see this comes down to literally the last man. Like, this comes down to our last units. Um, I think here is where, yes, um, what I was doing, I was worrying about these guys. So these Scathas teachers, I said, screw it, get them, zone these dudes out as best I can. He wants to kill these, he wants to kill them, he's gonna, you know, do his skirmisher mode, back out, is, 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 is the, the main objective here, keep all these guys away for as long as possible. As long as possible, keep shit away from you. Don't get stuck in the pooper. I see these guys charging. I get a little worried. It's not that big of a deal though. I realize it's not that big of a deal. I have these spearmen coming. I have these spearmen up in the front. My general. I know that he's not... This isn't going to kill me. This is what I'm afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. Wolf Spearman over there getting shit done. So, fast forward a little bit here. He keeps throwing shit at me. Um, it's really, really... This would have killed me. Right here is where I would have died. To all that stuff he just threw at me from all these guys, That's that would have killed me if it were not for that um, defensive bonus perk that you can get from on your uh, on your general that was so important was paying attention to when that was up when I could use it and um, I mean that was really the key here was using that over and over because um, you have to you really do have to use it in moments like this where you have to keep your units alive sorry about that got a phone call okay we're back going to tell you my uh, thought process here before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, I saw that he had this melee cavalry back here, and I knew that that was the real danger, was these guys. Um, luckily, my wolfhound spearmen had uh, done a little bit of damage to him, um, but I was also worried about these guys that had ammo left. I knew these guys were out. I knew these guys were out. But I knew these guys still had a few shots left in them. I didn't know how many, but I did. So we're going to get going here. We're going to fast forward it a little bit to where shit gets real. Um, about here, I was hearing the, um, the Skyrim theme song in my head for some reason. I don't know why. And here is again where if I hadn't have crapped myself earlier, I would have crapped myself here because I was really worried that my these spearmen over here weren't going to be able to hold these guys off. But uh, I hope everybody's kind of getting the gist of it here, is with the Celts, you got to make a main attack force and then hold out, you know, against his cavalry. You just kind of push them back as long as you can. You just got to push them back. Push them back. Push them back. So I knew this was the side that I was worried about. 
because there these guys were here. Um, I really wasn't worried about this. I just kept this spearman group here, um, and I moved everybody over to this side. And I mean, that's just kind of what you got to do. Now fast forward here, everything gets really weird. This is where the game's over. I realize I'm probably going to win as soon as these guys go down. He's doing all this crap, running around, trying to whittle me down, but he can't because every time he does, he runs into a wall of spears and loses a unit like that. Um, everything, Everything's going good. Um, I'm still continuing to use that perk, not Frenzy, the other one, the plus defense perk. I run these guys up here to kind of gum them up so that these guys can get into position. That's the entire idea. They get pushed out eventually. These guys just run away eventually. They get, they're get they so low on morale that they come up here at some point and just get, they run off. Fast forward it, see? They run away because they're a bunch of little bitches. I just keep moving these dudes around keep moving them around. Every time he runs these dudes, I get these guys to face him. Get my spearmen and my general to face him. He runs in. He's trying to just charge me over and over. I know what he wants to do. He wants to kill my general. He thinks if he kills him that the morale hit will be enough to get these guys to rout if he's careful. Um, I'm not going to let him do that. Keeps running around, doing all this horse shit. Literal horse shit. Here's where I think he kills my general here but he gets stopped by my spearmen and I win. So, I hope maybe that doesn't seem like a whole lot of bullshit to everybody. Uh, but that's how everything's been working out for me when I play the picks. I've been having very close wins and losses. Very close wins and losses. Um, and that's because I'm not a, exactly a, a genius when it comes to Total War. I'm not the best player. But I did understand right away because the the Celts in general that that matches my play style. That's how I play in a lot of other RTS games, and I was I'm kind of toying around with uh, the different stuff they can do, and I'm getting the shit messaged out of me on Skype. I got a collab group going, and hopefully that turns into something soon. So if uh, you see any um, stuff coming up about that, please, 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 like, favorite, subscribe, do all that jack shit. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope this helped. If um, this gets good feedback, I'm going to post it on a few places. I'm going to post it on um, probably the Total War forums, probably on Reddit. If it gets good feedback, I'll keep doing these things. Hopefully, as I get better, you can get better with me. So, everybody, have an awesome day.